Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top news. A 44-year-old man from in Bihar got a new lease of life after he underwent heart transplantation at Safdarjung Hospital, the first heart transplantation done by Safdarjung Hospital. The recipient was evaluated in the Department of Cardiothoracic Vascular Surgery and Cardiology and diagnosed with advanced heart failure due to severe coronary artery disease in March. The noto allocated the heart of a donor from a private hospital in Gurugram to VMMC and Safdarjung Hospital. To talk to us in detail about the procedure, we have with us on board Dr. Anubhav Gupta, Head of Department of CTVS at Safdarjung Hospital. Welcome to Medical Dialogues, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Inviting, inviting. So, doctor, can you please briefly uh, describe about the case? So, this person was a young man who was having uh, heart failure symptoms for a while and uh, he was then worked up in cardiology department and then followed by CTBS department uh, for a potential candidate as, for heart transplantation. Uh, once uh, there's an extensive workup you have to do before you can list a patient on the uh, waiting list for a heart. And we did that and then we registered him in the national uh, organization called the NOTO which looks after the organ transplantation and he was registered as a patient for uh, on the recipient list for a heart. Right. So, Doctor, what were the challenges you faced during the procedure? See, the challenges are basically of uh, the institution first has to do a process called uh, the permission from the state organization to be registered as an entity or an institute allowed to do a heart transplant. So, that's also a very lengthy process and that has to be put in place. At least there are more than 15 centers in NCR who are now registered for heart transplantation. But in a government setup, again, there are so many other uh, things you have to put in place. So that is step number one. I think step number two was the logistics of uh, doing a heart transplantation because you need to put in a team which will do the harvesting, the donor organ harvest, which may be away from the institution and maybe in this case was in Gurgaon. Uh, and thirdly, then there are all other logistic problems in a government institute, like having all the, the facilities, all the drugs, everything is required. Uh, are they there at that time or not? So we were well equipped. We had planned it in uh, when we got him listed in the recipient list. So we had put all the things in order. And the institution was also very supportive to us. The administration was on our side. So that's why we were able to pull it off. Right. I'm sure it must be very challenging. So, Doctor, what were the prognosis? How is the patient now? Is he well? Yeah. See, these heart transplantation patients, definitely the quality of life before heart transplant and after heart transplant is better. But any heart transplantation also comes with uh, a myriad of, of problems which are there of immunosuppression, of very close follow-up. Then immunosuppression, once your immune system is knocked off, you are more prone to have in developing infections. Uh, infections which are not very common for a normal individual like a CMV infection, the cytomegalovirus and other infections are very common in these patients. Then because the immune system is not there, they are more prone to develop cancers. But at least uh, we know that for one year survival uh, of uh, transplant patients in world over is more than 10, 90%. So uh, the quality of life is definitely better. Uh, they are able to, they don't have those symptoms of heart failure. They are not uh, out of breath. They are able to continue uh, their normal lives. But definitely, it is uh, they, they come up having some issues with the heart transplantation of regular follow-up of graft rejections, of infections and other problems which are there with heart transplant. Right. Thank you, doctor, for your insights. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Case was managed extremely well with tremendous efficiency and expertise of Dr. Anubhav and his team. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.